It's Chef Becker. I only think of steam when it comes to doing like a facial. I want my food that is, faster, that is, I think, than it can be. But my steam. dear, that's a perfect explanation because that's exactly what happens when you steam a vegetable or an ingredient. Okay. The pores of the ingredient opens up and it absorbs the flavors that the steam is carrying. Oh. In this case, what we're doing, we're taking a cod because we love cod um, and we use it for different things, but I don't uh, see too many people steaming cod. Cod is very firm, has large scale fish right. and uh, flakes, meat yeah. and flakes, so it's wonderful for steaming. In here, I took some of the bell peppers, some of the diced onion, some of the artichokes. Can see, yeah, can you? Can everybody wow. see this? Beautiful. Hold on. Can you? Now you see it. Now, now you, you see it. Now you don't. <laughs> yeah. So we're creating a sauce. This sauce is going to create steam. That's going to cook our fish. So everything done in one pan. Less dishes. And wow. less dishes. Yeah. Exactly. Something magical happens when you steam ingredients. Your entire home smells of this beautiful. It's like an air freshener. Exactly. But it's a flavor freshener. Ah. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh -huh. Good comeback. So we're going to take a cup and we're going to place it right on the steamer. The protein should be on the steamer first so the vegetables don't cover the steam and it cooks evenly. Okay. We're going to season it with a little bit of sea salt, a little bit of white pepper. Now, did you put any seasoning in the vegetables that's, that are steaming? Nothing yet. Okay. Nothing yet. And you don't have to. That's the beauty of steaming. You don't have to. All of those flavors from the bell pepper, yes. from the onions, yes. they're, they're gonna, naturally, naturally are going to go and oh, okay. penetrate mm. within the beautiful... And it's pretty, too. I like Absolutely. That. Can I have a green pepper? Of course, my dear. You can have even that. more than that. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to bring a little bit of citrus here. A few pieces of lemon oh. that have been sliced and put it right here on top. Now, you don't have to squeeze a lemon on Nothing, because, again, the steam is going to break it up for us. Nice. A little bit of capers. capers. Good, then let's do more capers. Now, why did you yeah, break them, them up, there. though? You chop them up so they release their flavors. They're like peas. Oh. If you do not break them up, they will not release their flavors oh, yes. until you bite on them. And we want the flavor to be released. Some chopped tomato on top. That's mm. just pretty. And a little bit of Kalamata olives yeah. on top. Yeah. Okay. And basically, as far as herbs, we're going to take a little bit of rosemary. By the way, all of these herbs have been placed inside that sauce. You want that sauce to sing with the same flavors as your steamed vegetables do. Just sing so, that. I like that, yeah. Oh, I am a wonderful singer. We're going to chop the herbs. <laughs> what? Do you think my voice? No, you you, you didn't know I could sing, you huh? You don't hear me. It's I'm like, why just stop? But look at all <laughs> because that. Because you're going next on to me. Again. You're amazing. <laughs> and drizzle of extra virgin olive oil right here on top. Right on everything. On this. It's just okay. art. So. As it's going down, my dear, it's just oh. going to keep cooking, and the oil is going to get to the fish after it has the chance to go through all the other flavors. Yes. And then those flavors are going to go in the fish. Okay. So the beauty of this is everybody at home, this is not the only ingredient that you need to use. You need a protein, or you can just go vegetarian all the way. Okay. And just have vegetables. Would you have like a, a, a heartier vegetable steam it on top? Like Absolutely. A root Absolutely. Oh, yeah, that would be beautiful, especially with this season. Root vegetables a would be bega. great. Absolutely. Rutabaga. Yeah. A little bit of sweet potato. Oh, yeah. Also, the last few minutes, I would, would throw some whole mushrooms in there. <gasps> mushrooms are already 80% already water. So, so all you need to do is just warm them up a little okay. bit. And that would be a magnificent vegetable, a vegetarian dish that goes in it. Carrots. And the potatoes are going to go in the sauce. Why? They're going to take a long time to cook. So mm -hmm. we cannot really steam them. So we're going to cook them in the sauce. You're going to have the starch as potatoes. You're going to have your carrots. You're going to have all your vegetables. And you're going to have your protein. I was going to mention something. We have this recipe online. Go download it. At the same time, we have it also with chicken. So you can do this with beautiful breasted chicken. That is very simple. See, I just Pour steam my chicken at home with just water. I wouldn't think to spice up the steaming the flavor that's you know what a yeah. lot of us do that but we forget about something even about just oatmeal we do not season the broth that we cook the oatmeal in you do not season the broth yeah. that you cook the chicken in you don't do that it doesn't matter what you do later yeah. it will never absorb the flavor wow. that's the beauty so of this how long is this going to take to steam now? this is going to take about 10 to 15 minutes okay, okay. we remove the chicken I mean the fish, right. and then we allow the vegetables to sit on the steam and reduce the steam to the consistency that we want. How is that going to happen? That's the sauce that is turning into steam. So when you lower it down, it's going to go back into the you sauce. You know why I'm smiling? I just love your passion for food. Have you ever thought of like possibly packages, packaging this? You should open a restaurant. Oh, wait. <coughs> He's got two. He's got a couple. <laughs> I'm opening one. 
Oh, I'm old old, but like soon. frozen to go because I can't, you know, I just feel intimidated around all this. My darling, I you got me. You this? don't need to be intimidated. One thing, food and cooking is not rocket science, it's passion science. And the passion will come. That's why I'm, I'm not a big passion. believer of sharing <laughs> things that you can do. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Cassandra? All right. Yes, dear. Jeez. I've got oh pain. I'll just be over right, here. You with know my what vegetable. else I have, though? I have, I'm telling you, it's hump day. Wednesday, at the halfway point, the middle of things, which I like. However, I had to change clothes this morning because this is the saddest day of the week for women. No matter what we do, it's just not right. Let's get back I to I had pain. to change clothes this morning, too. <laughs> so. Stay tuned.